The CEOs of major tech companies are on Capitol Hill testifying to senators about whether enough is being done to protect kids and their mental health from social media platforms. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg was challenged to apologize to families who claimed they were harmed by his platforms, Facebook and Instagram, and to everyone's surprise, he did. Facing the families, he said he was sorry for what they went through and added no one should have to suffer the things their families suffered. Zuckerberg said Meta continues to invest to ensure other families will not be harmed. Here's ABC's Mike Ajachi with more on today's testimony. Before a packed Senate Judiciary Committee room, the CEOs from big social media giants facing tough questions about online child exploitation. Mr. Zuckerberg. You and the companies before us, I know you don't mean it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. You have a product. You have a product that's killing people. The execs of X, formerly known as Twitter, Meta, TikTok, Snap, and Discord, confronted on the addictiveness of social media and its impacts on children's mental health. Their constant pursuit of engagement and profit over basic safety have all put our kids and grandkids at risk. There's a new push for strict rules protecting kids online from child pornography, sex trafficking, and drug sales. The FBI says there are more than 13,000 reports of online sextortion of minors last year, where offenders threaten to release compromising material unless the victim pays them. So far, 13 states have passed their own child safety laws last year, giving parents more control. Just last week, Florida moving to ban social media for anyone under 16. The five companies all say they're taking steps to address issues surrounding illegal content. As for addictiveness, Meta's Mark Zuckerberg claiming social media makes people feel happier because they're more connected. At the end of the day, we want everyone who uses our services to have safe and positive experiences. Still, senators say the tech companies shouldn't be left to police themselves, pushing the CEOs to support the Kids Online Safety Act, a bill that would require harmful material be blocked from children's accounts. Mark Zuckerberg and the CEO of Snap testified willingly. Now, according to committee chair Dick Durbin, the three others had to be forced by subpoena to appear. And it took federal marshals to serve the Discord CEO with the subpoena to make him show up. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.